Hello fellow hangers of the blue and welcome to my channel. In this tutorial I will show you how to paint flesh with my new recipe. And for that I will be painting a face on this guy here. And I chose this guy because he has a great face with great expression. But this tutorial won't, won't be necessarily about faces. I will show you a couple of things that you can, that you can do to faces to make them look more natural. But it's all about how to paint flesh in any part of your model. I also I wasn't going to do it because again it was was going to be just a flesh tutorial. But I decided to show you how to paint bird stubble uh, that looks realistic. So I really hope you enjoy the video, and let's get cracking. As you can see, we have our face base coated with uh, our base color, in this case it's Cadian Freshstone from Citadel. And we are now going to apply our first step, which will be our overall wash. This was, uh, is made uh, using a scale 75 ink tense chestnut. It's very nice uh, chestnut ink, very nice uh, reddish brown and we have diluted it with uh, two, uh, two parts of lamium medium per one part of ink. We'll apply this once all over the face. Like this. As you see, it's a very intense color. Got those very well into the recesses. And leaves the flesh. Our wash now applied and dry. We can move on. To, we can move on to the next step. If you don't have ink wash, which you should have inks. Inks are amazing. Uh, you can use regular flesh shape. Uh, maybe you have, we will have to uh, do two two coats, one overall and one concentrated in the recesses because it's really not intense enough. But uh, it will do the job. I just prefer inks, and if you want to improve your painting, inks are a, way, are a great way to go. We will now highlight all the flesh areas with Cadian Flesh Tone again. Concentrate it to the most. We, we will have. We will cover almost all the face with this, leaving the wash in the recesses. Now we have our Canyon Flesh Tone re-established. We will deepen some some of the shadow areas with a, a mix of uh, brown ink from Vallejo and uh, Lamium Medium. About 50-50 mix is enough. This will be a very concentrated shadow. You don't want to pull all, just put some into the eye socket, under the eyebrows, around the nose, under the nose, here. Now with the brown ink applied, all the shadow areas are nice and deep, and we can move on to highlighting. To the most prominent areas, we want to hit the bridge of the nose, we want to hit the nostrils, top of the cheeks, his lips, his eyebrows, of course. Any areas where you feel a little needs a highlight. With a case of flesh now applied, you can see we have a very quite nice looking face. Uh, I had to reapply the brown ink uh, in, his, in, his, in his mouth and inside of his, of his nose to redefine that area because I messed up with the highlights. There's, there's no, no, no problem there. If you mess up, Go back to your inks, 
we apply the shadows and if you are aiming for a tabletop standard this can be a quite a decent place to to stop but if you want to take it to another to a, another level stay tuned for the next step which will be another highlight using flayed one flesh with our flayed one flesh we go again to the areas when we feel needs more I like to take the tip of the nose and the upper part of the nose I like to go to his nostrils here and here I also like to pick his eyebrows Part here, eyes, and here, his cheekbones, and here, mouth, lips. Now we have our face completely highlighted and, and and with all the shadows applied, we will, we will apply some, some tones to it because now it looks too pale, looks a bit um, plain. So we dilute, we dilute some screamer pink to a glaze consistency and apply it here in his cheeks. You see how that pink builds up, creates very nice tone. We will do his nose. And the bottom lip. Be careful of the nose because you can uh, overdo this. Look like he is drunk. You don't want. I'll do a couple of more coats on the lower lip, this looks more lively. As you can see, just with that glaze of Screamer Pink, he's looking much, much better. And now we will reapply the highlights that have been lost on his nose, especially. Just a little bit on the tip, his mouth, and a bit on the lip. Here. With flat one flashes, like a small reflection. There you have it, a completed face. But I will show you how to do one more step, just in case you want to do it. This one is optional, completely optional. But I will show you how to do a bird stubble, which is something that uh, most people do wrong because they use greys or blacks, which is not the way to do it. If you want to do it perfectly, you should use green, blue, or a mix of the two, which is what I'm going to use. I like to use Cohelia Green Shade from UW. And I just... I wasn't planning to do this. That's why it isn't on my table. I had to look for it. Fill it to a glaze consistency and apply it into the areas where we want the bird, the beard stubble. So on his lower part of the face, With our couple of layers of Cochilia green to apply, as you can see the face is looking great, very realistic and we will just do a final highlight. If you're going to do the glazes just do this in the same step as you did the, the uh, screamer pink of course and then just apply the highlights as usual. 
Well guys, there it is. I just painted all the details around it. I painted the hair black. I painted the hat with Rhinox hide so you could see more defined the face uh, along all the other colors because just the face painted looks a bit weird. You don't know how it will look finally until you paint all, all, all things around it. I also painted the eyes, which I usually do before painting the face but in this case, as I just wanted to do a face tutorial, I leave it for the last step. So you, so you, so you see, you can do it before or after. I think doing it before is easier. But I will probably do a full tutorial uh, along the way on how to do eyes. But I can't do it now because uh, the painting position that I have to do to be able to record the videos is not comfortable enough to do the eyes and uh, so I will leave that for the next video so uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it I hope you like it and as always have a nice day